it's about rebellion. And it continues. And it happens at the end of harvest. So the different West Indians and islands happen at different times. And then all these dances started to evolve. And then you've got all these. Um, then you've got all these movements that keep evolving. I hope this I hope this designer design is stressed right because I'm gonna dance. So yes, all these cultures, all these things are happening at carnival and everything gets a little bit messed up, messed up, messed up, messed up. But at the heart of this carnival, with these women, with the women who are dancing and the dance movements that I'm studying, they're all trying to express a notion of freedom. So the movements that I'm about to perform to you tonight are movements which I have found from slave traders and colonizers from the 1600s which I have found in the carnival today and brought them back to life. This poem is called Carnival Queen in honor of my grandmother and all the great women I saw performing when I was a young girl. Okay. So I want a carnival vibe. The prettiest jewel on her costume was her smile. She lit up the woods, spanking it with attitude, palancing to sweet soca shanties. Her backside bubbled so fierce like she was ready to cripple the next man who attempted to mash up the next man with phantoms with bells for teeth that attempted to wind her down, drunk she down. And she did. Her bum hole was the bad chap that mashed up the sojourney. Her boxy gave the man one her lit and he brought it away. Just like her troubles. The moment she heard the rhythms of her lost spirit. Gigantic headdress. Sweeping any doubts about whether she could hold a crown. Feather saluting in transitions. She flung her hands in the air, indefatigable. Her tongue jumped to to stretch out the singer's notes. If she did, then perhaps the fit would never end. Perhaps she could shed her cocoon for more than just a day. And the wire, and the wire that bound her bobby's tight would also bind her self-esteem. And she would gleam like the Caribbean sea, lungs to get hype about drinking coffee. Rinse every day like the flesh of light. She, she could be free, she could be free. And sit on the veranda and watch my grandmother dig in the garden. Her back is bent, the sky is kneeling on top. She is wearing her work hat. Her work dress is stretched in patient sweat. In her bones there lay a journey that knew more exhaustion than her feet. Sally ready for she done so big 
All the women don't tear their stockings. I saw my grandma dance each time I saw her leave bread. Each time I saw her feed the chickens. Each time she cussed at anybody, stink boy, that dead she. She taught me to season my coordination. A displacement of sand dunes and Asian money. When I was four years old, my grand grand took me to see my first carnival. Before we reached the main road, she stared at the celebration, so beyond that, I could only feel the boom in my ear. Excited, I asked, Grand grand, what do you see? She said, I see the same thing I look at when I see you, I see me. And that was the day. I'm in my first carnival queen. Thank you.